What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Sunny Slope Homestead. Today we're going to be covering the BX2380's Hydraulic Quick Disconnect. The uh, notorious, constantly always having leaking problems, Hydraulic Quick Disconnect. We're actually going to delete it. We're going to get rid of it today. We're done with it. It's leaked on its last time. I don't care what people say. Uh, leave pressure. Uh, do this. Keep it clean. Uh, it's got to be nice and even. No, it's garbage and uh we're done with it so let's go take a closer look at it and i'll tell you what i'm talking about also be sure to subscribe i'm not just asking i'm letting you know i bought this tractor got about 100 hours on it and i'm going to tell you the good bad and ugly about this thing i'm not going to be biased because i own a tractor if it's a piece of crap i'm going to let you know i'm going to tell you all the good things and bad things today we're going to be covering this bad thing so let's go check it out this this right here is absolute garbage and today we're finally gonna get rid of it because i have had this thing leak on me about three different times sent it in the warranty's up with this tractor now so now i'm completely stuck dealing with this freaking thing and we're just gonna delete it uh you know i had some work i had to get done and and i had the time to get it done in and and i went to hook this thing up and uh well you know what it started leaking and oh man i was furious so today we're gonna trash this thing. It's never gonna be an issue ever again. I'm gonna go and show you guys the fittings, everything you're gonna to need to do this job. If you're having the same problems and you're tired of this, man, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna leave the part numbers and everything down in the description. And uh, you know, I found these on Amazon. I'm not affiliated and I'm not gonna give you no crazy coupon code. You're just gonna to have to search for them, uh, but I'll, I'll let you uh, lead you in the right direction at least. So let's go look at the fittings. So right here, these are the parts that you're gonna be needing for this conversion. One of them being a quarter inch flat faced hydraulic fitting right there. That's what should, that looks like there. And then uh, you'll need some of these uh, little quarter inch MPT male adapters to three eighths. They're a GIC fitting. And that will be your flare fitting, which will convert that to your, um, well, to your hydraulic hoses. So. Let's go get this stuff on and see how they work. Nice little flat hydraulic top fittings. And uh, well, you know, I really didn't check to see if they would fit onto the Kubota before installing them. So man, I really hope they fit because, well, that would suck to have to do this all over again. As far as, as, far as for this, we're gonna yeet it, delete it. moment of truth oh man the older these get the yellow and the white they kind of start looking alike so I don't know it seems like a pain but oh man well that one fit on pretty easy let's try the yeller Not complaining. Here. Try to Roja. And let's try the blue now. All worked fairly well. Well, I could tell you. It's quite a mess. I'm not sure if you need these caps or not. I mean, I don't have them on my plow. They're kind of everywhere, but I guess they're not hurting anything. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out on this truck that I, I don't like, and I've hit it a couple times, and it's neglect on my part for not paying attention, but hey, you're supposed to be building a product that would prevent somebody like me from not paying attention because everybody's, you know, jack wagon. So this is it. This guard right here, when you pull in, I'm constantly forgetting that these outside uh, the fittings and the hard lines go into the hydraulics. 
I'm constantly hitting it right here. And I, man, I've done it twice in the 100 hours that I've operated this tractor. And I'm telling you what, one day it's not gonna be forgiving. It's really on me to pay attention when I'm doing stuff like that, but man, I wish uh, we should figure out how to, to not do that anymore, <laughs> protect it. And obviously you can't put it on the outside of the tractor because well, then it will get ripped off. So it's, it's in that uh, location for a reason. Uh, I don't know what the fix is, but I keep on hitting it. So let's start this up and see if she works. Okay, as you notice, I had a real difficult time getting that bucket on. Uh, well, reason being, if you set this bucket on unlevel ground, which apparently I did on accident, concrete and a big pile of rocks right there doesn't mix. This tractor, what was going on, which you guys couldn't see, and you guys are probably thinking, what an idiot, but this point right here, it was completely just up in the air, like, way up here and that side was locking down but this side wouldn't so i had to like stretch it all the way out stretch it back in and finagle it back into place which i did get and well right now 100 hours on this tractor i'm telling you what if you're gonna buy one of these tractors obviously it's nice to have a front end loader box blade pto haven't had any problems besides a hydraulic leak um your occasional nuts bolts you guys you know about the episode where uh, i had no axle oil in the first 80 hours of operating this tractor hardly any oil whatsoever in that axle the i was pretty upset was pretty pissed i'll link that video up top and you can watch it for yourself and see what kubota did to make that right uh moving on though this tractor hasn't given me really many issues at all mostly the hydraulic fitting absolute nightmare and that deck guys that deck i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bash the deck it does a great job on cutting my yard i can't complain about the deck and the quality of cut you get with this this mower deck one thing i will tell you it is an absolute bear to get on this thing is i dread in the springtime putting this thing on it's like the last thing i want to do i wait till the last minute before i have to put this mower deck on because i absolutely hate it it's such a pain in the butt and here's the reasons why well first get in your brackets and everything to lower they lock up you have to pry them down if you're working on a gravel driveway or something it's really going to be a nightmare because you have to you, you'd think that you just be able to lower your uh 
your mower belly mount brackets and it would just go down and it would all fit nicely inside there but it doesn't in fact we're gonna lower this down and i can tell you getting this mount in place you practically got to shove a piece of firewood underneath here and lift it up and get it to lock into place because it just doesn't fall into this little guide here and pop in and all the the nice jazz that you would hope it would do now driving over this deck to put it on not bad at all it's it's real it's a lot easier than taking this and sliding this in and out driving on it is awesome i don't care what you do this front bracket here putting these pins back in which by the way suck as well because you got to get the retainer pins back in here i actually put a uh, cotter pins in there that i can remove uh, a little bit easier than what they have i need to go back to the stock because that's not a good permanent fix but no matter what you think well i could just you know adjust this or do whatever you need be for it but I, i'm going to tell you something i don't care from last year the next year this sob never will line up and don't tell me you can adjust that bad boy because i am not going up there and adjusting that every year it doesn't work that way so it's a little bit of a headache you guys seen in my last video what i liked about it first hundred hours really haven't had any problems at all with this tractor so i've been really blessed we're going to be doing an oil change on it here soon maybe i'll cover that we'll look at the oil see what it looks like and uh go from there so i really appreciate you guys watching and i hope you tune in and subscribe so you can follow along and all the ups and downs i have with this tractor and uh see what this journey is going to be all about so Appreciate you watching. See you next time.